So, Jake, obviously you go from Bethune-Cookman to Southern Mississippi, now you got Texas A&M. It looks like you're starting to step up in class with the opponent. So now let, we'll talk about going into the third week. What do you feel that you learned about your team now as you face an elite uh, opponent? Well, I'd say uh, today, like I said, we, uh, we learned we can respond to a little bit of adversity, not playing the best uh, first half. But uh, Texas A&M, of course, is a big game, but we're not going to look at it any differently. Uh, we're just going to take it one step at a time, go 1-0 and every day. Uh, practice hard on Tuesday and Wednesday, full pads, and you know that's where the game is won. So uh, just make sure we uh, lock in on our preparation and uh, go hard in practice. Jake, have you heard anything about Texas A&M, you know, College Station? Have you ever been there? You know what the atmosphere is like there? I've never been there, but I played in uh, the Texas Longhorn Stadium, and that stadium was pretty nuts. So I'm wow. expecting it to be very loud. And what would you tell the younger guys about, you know, their first road game, and what should they be aware of? Yeah, I would say uh, just don't interact with the fans, you know, because that can really, that can really uh, get your mind off the game. And, uh, yeah, basically just just focus on ball. And, uh, you know, that's what we came here to do. So those guys are going to be ready for sure. Hey, Jake, Inez Cooper, I don't know how often you've gone up against him in practice, but Coach is obviously using him a ton in different blocking sets. What makes him maybe unique or tough to deal with? Yeah, I have gone against him a good amount. Uh, he's a big dude for a freshman, a heavy dude. He's got heavy hands. so. You know, whenever you're going against him, you got to strike him and uh, lock him out and get him off you. Because if he gets into your chest, he's going he's gonna to move you a little bit. In the first half, we'll a couple more for In the first half, when you guys are down, now who does the most talking in the huddle? Who's the verbal guy to get the fight going? I would say Corey Flagg and Wayne and Steve come around and just uh, get us going and really uh, have us locked in. Anything else for Jacob? Jacob, you mentioned that you played at Texas. I'm curious if you guys. I did not. What? What? Yeah. 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 Ye